How's it going guys, this is Najam, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to take a look at the CCZ Melody in-ear monitors. Now just before I start, these were sent over for me to review and I do have a discount code the company has given me. So make sure you check out the description, I'll just leave everything in there um, if you want to get a discount on these. So it comes in this box here and on the back of the box it does have some specs. So this has a 10mm dynamic driver as well as a balanced armature so it's a hybrid setup and you have the sensitivity and the frequency range over there. Now also on the uh, on the box you do have some information on the sides. Um, so as you can see it has a dual magnetic circuit which is something I've never heard of. Um, and it doesn't really seem to be anything special when listening to these. It does have a copper cable um, it does also say in the website that I you buy it from that it's actually a silver plated cable and I'll be honest with you I don't think this is the best silver cable I've heard although it does sound like a silver cable um, but the cable it com comes with it looks very much like the cable that you get with the Belon 03 um, and let's just talk about the cable and the comfort first and then I'll talk about its design and we'll get into the sound quality in just a bit so the cable, what I like about this cable is that it's very very flexible. You don't hear any of the cable noise as far as uh, from my experience goes. It does have a gold plated right, um, right angled connector here. And the cable is very flexible. Um, and that's what I do like. And it does have the middle bay over here if you wanna... I don't know what you use that for. Um, now as far as the comfort goes, these are very very comfortable. In fact, these are probably the lightest in-ear monitors that I have ever heard used. I know I said the same thing on the KZX review, but these are actually lighter than them. And it does actually say over here somewhere that this has a lightweight design and that does seem to be showing up quite well. So let's see how close I can get this. Uh, you can actually see the dynamic driver there. And the balanced armature is just right over there. You can probably see it from this side in here, I think. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, I've got the clear versions. You can get the clear see-through versions. Um, you can get the clear version. And it looks very, very nice. Now, these are bigger than the ZX, uh, but they are more comfortable. So it has this little nudge over here, as you can see. Um, and these are, I mean, again, the comfort is amazing. Probably the most comfortable in ear monitors I have heard. Um, the price on these is $21, uh, $22 over here. Um, and the link is in, in, in the description if you want to go pick them up. Um, and it's used, it does use the dual uh, two pin connector. So you can get third party cables if you want. There we go. Um, they also have some ear tips that they come with and they say that these are like custom designed or whatever. Um, and I have to say, uh, as far as the ear tips go, they are very nice. I haven't really had any problems with these. These fit in my ears. The ear tips are very, very soft and they fit in my ears a lot better than some of the other ear tips I've used with um, ear, in, in ear monitors. Um, the seal is also very nice. The, the thing with these is, unlike any other in ear monitors that I've used, these, because these are so light, they just stay in my ear. Now I've had the problem with in-ear monitors dropping out of my ear all the time sometimes. And that's one of the reasons I don't like in-ear monitors and I've become a headphones person. Um, but these don't drop out of my ears. They are very very comfortable and they are very very nice. So as far as the comfort and the design goes uh, and the cable is pretty solid. Uh, you can, I think there is definitely an improvement to look for if you're going to get a third party cable. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's talk about the sound quality. Now these are using a balanced armature and a 10 mm dynamic driver, which they just say has like a dual circuitry. And honestly, for the price is, I think you can definitely get some other any monitors that are better than this. So when you're buying an audio equipment or whatever, um, anything in the audio file like community or hobby, um, you can expect two things. I mean, you buy things for two reasons. And one of the reasons is that it's technically really, really good. So it's going to have amazing detail, whatever, whatever. Um, the other reason is that a, while it isn't technically or the best thing in the uh, in the community right now, it's, uh, it's actually more tuned to sound really, really nice and really easy on the ear and everything. So it's more beautiful rather than groundbreaking um, and these are more like the beautiful thing 
Now the sound description pretty much comes from the name in my opinion it is very melodious. Um the sound signature is slightly warm um because of the elevated bass, uh, the mid bass I should say, but the rest is pretty neutral. Now as far as the technical sound goes, these are not the best in the monitor I I've, I've heard. The detail is okay. The sound stage is okay. It's not really really wide. It's actually a little bit wider than it has depth. but the depth is okay and then the width is also okay as well um the separation is i mean it's pretty much mostly a dynamic driver in the uh, monitor uh, the balanced armature tends to help with the higher frequencies as far as i can tell it doesn't do a lot more than that um that's pretty much it really and i think what they really mentioned here is that it's limited to 20 kilohertz i'm not sure how high it can actually go because they do have a balanced armature in there for the high frequencies i think it should be able to go a lot higher than that at least up to like 30 kilohertz and that seems to be one of the limitations on this edit in the monitors um that seems to be holding it a little bit back um the most most of the sound is from the uh, the dynamic driver and they do say it's like a dual circuit design whatever it's called dual magnetic circuit dynamic driver um from what i can tell from listening to these is that it seems to be pulling it back uh, when it comes to the sub bass so it seems like uh, what it's doing is is ha- it has a some sort of a roll off in the sub bass so as f- when it starts going really deep it just sort of pulls it back a little bit which is a little bit weird because i would uh, assume that they would want a really really uh, hard hitting sub bass and it just i suppose it keeps it under control but it doesn't really seem to be doing much more than that it doesn't seem to be adding any speed on to it or anything um so technically it's not the best in ear monitors I've ever heard but as far as the sound quality goes these are very easy and very nice to listen to they have a slightly warm sound signature and I will admit the bass does tend to bleed into the mids a little bit um but as far as the everything else is pretty much well balanced i mean it's not over the top in any way the the higher frequencies do sound very very smooth and this they're not fatiguing at all and i don't think there's much to talk about these are just very nice i mean they are very melodious if you're looking for in ear monitors at least from my experience what i can say is that i do recommend these when it comes to just an overall in ear monitor um because these are very very comfortable they do have that going for them and they are very very uh, easy to listen to and i think overall if you look at the product itself um overall is better than a lot of other in ear monitors in in that they are a lot more balanced in pretty much every way so these are very nice uh, they are very easy to listen to they work with um, everything that you can plug them into because they are really sensitive um but as far as the sound quality goes uh, i'm more of a technical person i really like to just push the limits and everything these are not designed for that i think these are more just very nice and easy sounding in ear monitors and if you're looking for that kind of stuff i would recommend them Um, but otherwise the Beelon 03 are better than this the Beelon 05 are better than this um the Zex are better technically but i do like the highs of these more than the Zex although the Zex does have more information in the highs and everything and the detail um so yeah um in pretty much that's pretty much it really um so if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section below um if you want to pick them up go ahead and check out the link in the description and in the comment section below i'll just pin it Um thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in another video